Hello, I'm Fucker Future. Welcome to the Vanguard of Light. We're talking about goals and we're in kind of the deep, the deep grasses right now, the deep weeds. <laughs> and today, if you've been following along, we're obviously on your spiritual goals. Spiritual goal. What's your spiritual goal? What, what's an example of a spiritual goal you're going for? Is that area clear? You know, do you feel clear on it? Do you feel like, oh, it's kind of vague or it's like, well, it's spiritual or stuff like that. Well, we want to get a greater clarity. We also want to be doing it with joy, with peace. You know, it's not like, oh, well, I have to meditate this many minutes a day and da 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 and I feel horrible about it. Okay, well, we're going to tune that up because we don't want to feel horrible about it. It's not, you know, well, if you pound along and do these things, then you're going to magically all of a sudden feel better even though you're not in alignment with what you're doing. So we're going to be getting in alignment, tuning it up. And obviously, spiritual is one of the aspects that we want tuned up. Because if we just went for the other three, life would, a lot of the joy would just get sucked out. It would be just to do, to do, to do, to do. So it's just another way to kind of bring that into thing of like, okay, we want to make sure our spiritual game is on point and on point for us. So we're just going to put our hand on our heart, kind of think, okay, what is... My spiritual goal. What's my number one spiritual goal? Right? And it might feel like, what? Well, spiritual goals aren't supposed to be clear. Well, let's let that go. Let's let, let's let that get answered by source, universe, and let's have, you know, something. Like, hey, well, what's the picture? What's the feeling? What's the vibe? You know, and if it's blank, that's fine. We just send love to that. You know, just actively sending love, hand on our hearts, just sending love to that picture, that vibe, that idea, that thought. That sound, whatever modality it happens to be, and just taking the moment right now, just doing it, right? And then I'm thinking, do I have my spiritual goal? What is my spiritual goal? And then choosing one, if one shows up, and if it's vague, it's fine, it's fake, you know? Then it's gonna be like this, this vague kind of cloud thing, right? And then we keep it until something better shows up, right? And then the fake cloud, fake, vague cloud turns into like, you know, hey, this is kind of a spiritual pursuit. I can go for it. And you can be like, okay, now I embrace that spiritual pursuit, right? And we can still continue to send love to that. I'm like, hey, this is my next best level. This is my next best, you know, spiritual pursuit to do. I'm going to do it in joy. And I'm going to send love to it and see how it transforms. And that gives me like kind of my direction of spiritually of like, oh, okay, this is where I'm going to be working spiritually. Kind of give me a focus, a drive. I'm like, okay. And all of this stuff can be considered, you know, doing these videos, part of your spiritual progression and spiritually working through through and kind of like so it's all you know part of it we're just taking a moment to be like okay yeah that's one of my spiritual goals you know and how i feel about that and it's fine if it feels you know traumatic and tormenting and like oh well this is broken that's broken it's like, okay that's just where we're at that's up i was like okay that's there you know, and that's what would push us away from these goals, you know? We're like, oh, I'm going to focus on all these other areas, but not this one, because I got pain when I think about it, right? But that's what we're sending love to. We're sending love to that pain. We're sending transformation to that, to where we can start getting that clarity, that guidance. And that might be part of that is like to heal all those pains. But we're sending that love to be like, okay. It's like, no, I'm going to have, you know, a strong spiritual goal. I'm going to feel strong and joyous and happy about it. And I'm going to have that in my life. So then when some Yahoo like frack of future <laughs> with the Vanguard light comes by and asks, you know, what are your four goals in these four areas? And you have one. You'd be like, yeah, it's this. And I feel great about it. I feel fantastic about it. When I think about it, I feel joy, I feel happiness, I feel peace. But wherever you're at is where you're at. And we're going to get there. And we're going to do that. We're doing the process right now. I'm just... You know, breathing, getting in our heart, sending love to that area. And just being like, you know, I'm going to get guidance. I'm going to get clarity here. That is happening. That's coming forth. And we're just taking that moment to have that. To have that area of life, you know, really dialed in. You know, to where spiritually, you just feel on point. And if you've been following along on each one of these, it's going to physically feel on point. You're going to financially feel on point. In your relationships, you're going to feel on point. And then it's just going to bring so much joy to your entire life because there's not like that one spot. Because that's 
tends to be what happens. And it could be like, you know, all four of them are no good. That's fine too. <laughs> We're gonna get each one of them to its next best level. Next best level, bring it up to where it's just joyous. You know, to where your life becomes joyous in all these areas. Because if there's one that's getting let down, it's always gonna be in the back of your mind of like, ooh, and you're gonna let it down more and more and more, especially when the other ones are going good. Like, I'll just focus over there. That's like the analogy from the previous video of like, how many flat tires do you need to stop you? And it's just one. It's only one of the tires that needs to go flat, one of the areas that needs to go flat, you know, for it to like bring all the other ones down, for movement forward to stop. So we're gonna stay moving forward. And this is the way to get back, no matter what area it is, what happened, we're just gonna start bringing some love, some source, some joy to it. And it's gonna start transforming into something that lifts you up. You know, so if it's not lifting you up or if it's not clear now, it's going to. You know, you're, you, you're working with magic powers here to bring that in alignment. So hope you've done this with me and you've gotten some clarity on your spiritual goals and where that is. And like, yeah, yeah, I do feel a little clear on that. I know you can keep coming back to that, doing this process. Just watch the video again. Just do it. You know, listen to me. Babble along while you're thinking about your spiritual goal while sending love to it. And notice the transformation. Notice, you know, the reaction that you create. Whether it's like, oh man, it is wounded. That's cool, that's new information. You might not have known that before, like consciously. But now you do, it's like, okay, well, it's got a little wound, I'm gonna send love to it. I'm gonna heal that. It's gonna get better. It's gonna keep getting better. You know, it's gonna keep moving forward, getting more joyous, more happiness. And like, you're gonna do it holistically throughout your life. Because if you're doing the spiritual thing, you gotta do all areas. You can't go unconscious in one that works in achievement, but it doesn't work in ascension. So with that, I hope it's helped. Until we talk again, have a blessed day or a blessed night.